This is an overview of the adaptable theme for Moodle. If you start at the top of the page, we have Bootstrap Alerts. These can be dismissed and will remain persistent until an administrator wants to bring them back. You can define multiple menus. You can target these against user profile fields. As you may have seen in other themes, there's a hide show blocks, which doesn't work too well on this page but full screen standard view you can set the theme to run in full width by default and disable this feature to give you a, a full width fixed um, theme we have a news ticker here again it's possible to target news items to multiple user groups and to define as many fields for these as you want we have a choice of sliders there's only one slide in here which is why this isn't working a layout builder for marketing blocks, these are static marketing blocks. A layout builder for block regions, so if we can just demonstrate that. So we define these block regions and then you can put any block in there that we want to. So, oh, and we have different course tiles for the front page and a whole host of other settings. So if we take a quick look at the admin section. We have colour pickers for pretty well everything, um, there might be one or two missing still. We are hoping to improve the admin section and find a better colour picker than this one. You can also define the fonts that you want to use. There's quite comprehensive font settings available to you. You can customise buttons, so control the colour and also the radius if you want square or rounded buttons and some of the buttons have additional customization such as the login button in the header you can upload your logo your fav icon you have some control over what's displayed in the course title some of these settings aren't quite working properly at the moment and need some additional work the header menus which are these follow the sort of pretty well the Moodle standard with a, a pipe delimiter but you can actually add as many of these as you want if we choose this we can add more menus and the reason for that is that we can target custom profile fields so we can display different menus to different people so you can have staff links, student links, that kind of thing and we can see here we, we've got four menus as um, was defined in this field here. The user menu is completely customizable. Every item here or every item here is configurable. You can turn everything on and off. The social links are very easily configurable. Um, we're just using a delimited field for this so they don't have to be used for social. You can for example, we've added one to search Moodle. Um, we use these to link to webmail and things like that. The navbar is this section here. Again, completely customizable. And you can actually disable the zoom, as I mentioned earlier. If you want this site to be full width under the layout settings, you can make it full width. Turn off that zoom feature and you'll have a full width layout. There's a tools menu here so additional navigation possible and as you can see there are icons in this there's some sample code in there if you want to try that and again you can add more than one of these if you want to target them at different user groups you wouldn't want one user to see more than one of those menus because there isn't really space block settings color pickers and also some control over the css so you can say whether you want your borders to be dashed which borders you want to appear around the header and the body the background color you can set the radius to curve your blocks that kind of thing one of the features we're most pleased with is this block region builder. So this is where we define the layout. There's a slight problem with it at the moment, but you define the layout here by changing these settings. And that was what I demonstrated on the front page. It will put this layout here and you can start to drag your blocks into there on the front page. Marketing blocks, these are static. So these are just static HTML blocks. 
as has, have been used in many Moodle themes for some time now. But we've added a layout builder for that. And this layout builder controls this and also the number of blocks that appear down here. So as you build your layout, then the relevant number of blocks will appear and you can fill them in afterwards. The front page courses section is this, how the course tiles appear. Um, we've got a couple of different renderers in there. You can upload your own default course image. So these images come from the course settings, it's a course summary file, and some other options where they want to show the course contact and their role, that kind of thing in the course tiles. So we just reload that with a different renderer. So now you can see a slightly different style on those um, course blocks. The front page ticker is this announcements ticker. Again, you can have multiple fields if you want to target news to different user groups. If a user has access to more than one of these fields, then they'll be aggregated for that user. The front page slider, you can define the number of slides that you want. So, well, the first thing to show you is actually that we have two styles of slider. So if I change this style, it will reload these fields and allow me to customize the colors. wait for that to reload. There we go. So different style slider and we can see now that the admin settings have changed. We're loading different, well we're loading more color pickers. If we want to add more sliders then we, however many sliders you want, up to 12, we could add more but I'm not sure how many people would want a, more than 12 slides. Alerts feature that we're quite pleased with. Once again you can define the number of alerts you want and the reason for that would be to target different alerts to different users and if I just change this alert key one of the features in this theme is that the dismissing of alerts becomes persistent so if I just go back to the home page and reload that it should appear. So Bootstrap gives you the ability to dismiss an alert, but getting it to stay hidden is a bit more tricky. You have to actually store that event in the user profile. We can see there I dismissed it, reloaded the page, it didn't come back. But if the administrator wants to reuse this field later on to show a new alert, so let's say you update this message, and we can change it, say, from, change that to a warning. We can see that's come back and if I want to I can dismiss it again. So this is a useful feature if you use top alerts because it means you don't annoy users with running banners that they can't get rid of once they've read them. Some layout settings so you can set the blocks left or right as I mentioned. You can default to full screen view, set the full width size. One issue if you left align the blocks is that on mobile devices the blocks will appear before your course content so we'd leave that right aligned for now. Footer. Again extensive features in the footer. We have our layout builder again here so if I want to add more blocks into the footer I can come down here, save that it's given me a graphic of the layout that we've got and we'll see it's created more. It's created another three blocks which I can fill in. Footnote, we need to put a title between that but essentially the foot is split. So this is the block region that your layout builder applies to and then in the footnote you can put a little copyright notice there, Moodle Docs and a couple of other bits and pieces in the footnote. And you can turn both these sections on and off independently should you want to. Mobile settings give you a bit of control over how this looks on mobile devices. This needs documenting because it's a bit um, complicated. Some of the rules there needs a bit more work, but essentially you can turn things on and off on mobile devices. Mm -hmm. Custom JavaScript and CSS, so you can override those. And the analytics page only works with Google Analytics. It could 
um, be modified easily enough to support PWIC and things like that. But again, we can add multiple analytics fields. We've chosen to add four, and the reason again is that we can target profile fields. So for us, this means that we can get statistics not only on our entire across our entire Moodle site, but start to gather statistics for specific departments based on user profile fields. So that's a quick overview of the um, theme. Not and um, yeah, download it, give it a go, and hope it works for you. Thanks, bye.